You're about to shoot your very first commercial, but you're super excited yet very nervous at the same time because you want to impress everyone. Don't worry about a single thing because I'm going to show you how to shoot your very first commercial that's going to blow everyone away. Let's do this. You're just starting your career as a filmmaker and as a photographer, and somehow you landed your first gig to make a commercial. And you don't know what to do. You're looking online, you've studied a little bit, you watch YouTube videos, but you're not sure what to do. You're extremely nervous. You want to make sure you provide a good product, whether you're getting paid or not. I don't know what the deal is with your personal situation, but you want to strive to ensure anything that you do, your name can be put on it and have prideful work. By the way, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because all all we do is talk about content creation in the digital space, whether that be photography, film, graphic design, anything that you can think about that helps you improve your career and growing as a community, we're going to talk about. So back to the subject about your first commercial. We've all been there. Trust me, everyone starts somewhere. I remember my first commercial, I was super nervous. I couldn't sleep that night. It, it was terrible, but I wasn't getting paid, but it, it eventually launches you to then do other work that allows you to get paid and grow your business. Trust me, I've been there. I've shot a lot of commercials. Living in Miami, our film industry is very heavily dependent on commercial work. So I've seen it all. I've been in all the different assets of production. And you, you want to make sure that your very first commercial is something special because it's, you're going to remember it for the rest of your career, but you don't know how to go about doing it. If you're about to shoot tomorrow or you have a couple weeks before shooting, these are the key steps you want to know before shooting. So whenever you're shooting about a product or a company, you want to know the differentiators. Basically, what separates that company from all the other companies because this is the main key selling point of that product. You're making that differentiator stand out all the other products. Now, you're not going to be talking bad about other products. That's a no-no. What you want to be doing is you want to make sure that you're emphasizing those key differences. If, when selling a product, you don't necessarily want to be listing off points because that can be boring. Who cares about all those points? Instead, you should be selling an idea or a outcome that pro that product will provide you. How is that product or service going to improve the customer's life. How is it going to improve if it's a business to business product or service? How is it going to improve that product sales? How is that going to improve that business? Remember, we have to find out what that product is going to do for the end customer and make sure we sell it. So we're looking at key differentiators and what that product is going to do for that customer. The only reason why you shouldn't be doing this is if you feel client specifically wants you to do something else. Remember, you're first starting out, so you don't really have a lot of leeway in terms of negotiating. You're, you're kind of the bottom of the total pole and they went to you for some reason, but they don't trust your expertise just yet. So you want to try to lead them in, show them why it's important to go with the differentiators, to go why the product is going to improve. Do you want to show off different features and details, but you want to always tie that in and how that's going to improve the quality of the con consumer. So for say you don't want to go, oh yeah, this does this, 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 and that, go buy my product. Oh, this is this and that's going to help you do this. This is going to do this and that's going to give you this lifestyle. The best things that sell are lifestyle based products because people want to improve their life because the grass is always greener on the other side. That's some psychology for you. And then once you get that down, figure out and then this is your time to be creative. So once you ironed out those key details, you want to now go in and use your creativity to the fullest. Look at their competitors, see what their competitors are doing in that market. You want to try to do something that's better and can outshine them because at the end of the day, if a competitor sees, oh hey, this did a really good product, they might come to you for a video production. That's happened to me before. So make sure that you're going to outshine the other people. Now, we figured out the details and the content of the video, but how the heck are you going to shoot this video? Now, if you have your own DCLR, if you have your own camera, that is perfectly fine. And all the really gear you need is a camera and a pair of sticks. And you really don't even need a pair of sticks. You just need a camera with some type of lens on it. Remember, this is your first one. It's not going to be the best production in the world. Once you have that out, you want to just shoot the product, shoot a lot of B-roll. If you're doing interviews, I would recommend picking up a microphone. And if you don't have a microphone or can't afford a microphone at all, you can use your iPhone. You can use the microphone on your camera and then sync that up later on in post-production. Remember, it, the first one is all about what you have have and what you can attain 
cheaply because I'm pretty sure you're not getting paid at all or barely getting paid at all. So you want to make sure all that revenue that's coming in for your first one, you can then later invest and save up for better gear to keep on improving your business. Remember, every time you make money in a business, you want to funnel that back in to, to keep it from failing and to always succeed. So once you have your camera, and even if you don't have a camera, don't worry. You can actually shoot and edit all on your iPhone. And actually, I'm gonna have a video coming out very soon on how to shoot something completely on the iPhone, all from pre-production, production and post-production all on your iPhone. I know this is all nerve wracking, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Make sure that you're shooting something proper, it's clean. I always say this, make sure you have at least 10 seconds of B-roll of whatever it is. If since you're first starting out, start off with just static shots and then make some movement with it. So that way you have some safety in post-production and leeway to keep it going. Remember, unless you're doing something very creative and out of the box, it's gonna be a lot of B-roll. Now, once you figure out what camera you're gonna shoot on, you wanna now start thinking about lighting. And if you don't have any lights, that's perfectly okay. You can use natural light. Make sure you get really close to a window or somewhere where there's a lot of natural light and make sure it's all nice and soft. You don't want to do anything too harsh. And that really does pertain to, if you're using lights, make sure nothing is harsh. Don't go, do, don't do anything crazy out of the box for your very first commercial because you want to make sure you succeed unless you have the confidence and that is what the client wants. So what you want to do is get make sure you have big, nice, soft, light coming in and the way you can do that is you can point your lights up bounce it on the ceiling bounce it off a white wall make sure everything is high key lighting which is just basically even lighting that's going around the product your testimonial whatever it may be make sure it's nice and evenly exposed and then after that once you get comfortable with lighting start experimenting probably the night before if you do have lights play around with the lights that you have and try to figure out how to get something nice and crisp. Any, anytime you're doing any type of commercial, you don't wanna bump your ISO, you wanna be as clean and crisp as possible. And a lot of times, a lot of commercial stuff, it is very just high key lighting in general. Now, when it comes to shooting, know your location, know what you're gonna be shooting, know the talent that's gonna be required, know the products that's gonna be required, and know your time limits. Practice timing, timing is very key when it comes to video production. Make sure you know your timing. If you're unaware of it, practice before. Practice, see how many times you need to get this shot. If you need to shoot more than one day, you need to shoot more than one day. I know people hate doing that. It's for a better end result. Then you can fully move on to the next step of production. If you have time before you shoot, start playing around with the lighting, the cameras you have, so you can be very comfortable the moment you arrive on set. Remember, confidence is key. You wanna always know what you're doing. So when you arrive on set, make sure everything is already planned out everything is laid out time by time this is why we have pre-production everything is nice and organized nothing is left to the ambiguity nothing is left to the open mind make sure you're fully planned out now remember you are a professional so everything has to be on point make sure your gear is working fine test out the gear the night before weeks before make sure you know everything's going to work properly if it's not going to work throw it out and figure out the day before because when you arrive you want to be arriving to rock and roll and to be a rock star when it comes to editing you want to make sure your editing is crisp you don't have any shakes any bumps that's why we use those static shots from earlier if you're going to only be using text no audio make sure you use nice text that sells the product and that aligns with that service or product and the brand ultimately remember when doing video it's part of the branding of that company so you want to make sure you stick to it see if they have any assets if they have a graphic designer that had their own fonts get it from them if not you want to make sure that your fonts match the product I'm, I'm, I keep saying that but it's very important so you can go on to fonts Google fonts and there's a bunch of free fonts out there that you can get that's gonna look really nice and sharp you don't want to do anything that's cookie cutter you want to make sure your product stands out from the rest and if you're doing testimonials or some type of interviews or audio make sure your audio is crisp make sure it's clean make sure it's not all over the place if the audio is terrible completely scratch it tell your client that hey we can't use the audio and just figure out another way around it whether that be epic music make sure you are using music that aligns with the product there's a lot of places out there where you can get free music never ever 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 go with copyrighted music because that's going to be a headache where you're able to use the music for free there's a lot of places out there if you have the budget maybe you can go to music bed epidemic there's a lot of places where you can get that finish shooting your commercial you now have a product now you have a service that you could sell and now you want to start promoting that 
After this, if you do a really good job, clients are gonna start coming to you. They're gonna start referring you to other people, their competitors and people from that market are gonna see, hey, they did a video on it. They're gonna, it's still gonna start funneling to you. It's a very, very slow process. It can get very impatient sometimes, but it does happen. This first commercial is gonna be the pivoting point to your career, unless you do a very bad job on purpose. Never do anything unintentionally ill. Remember, it's not gonna be perfect, but if they, if the client sees that you work hard and hustling, they're gonna make sure to keep on referring you. Make sure you grow as an individual because the way companies work, small companies love to help each other out and help each other grow in this market. It's essentially a community, no matter what it may be. Let me know your stories about your first commercial. And if you're about to shoot your very first commercial and you're nervous and hesitant, please, please feel free to leave your questions down in the comments below. I'll try to help out with you as much as I can, respond to you as quickly as I can, and I know our community down below is gonna help you out. So please, don't be scared. Everyone goes through this. It's natural, and we wanna make sure that our industry continues to grow with amazing talent. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because I'll see you guys next week. Kiss, kiss.